dear students assalamu alaikum today we are going to start medicinal chemistry lectures it will be our first lecture on medicinal chemistry and in this video we are going to introduce what is, what is drug design and discovery process in medicinal chemistry which is also known as pharmaceutical chemistry we study drug design synthesis and discovery process so we will discuss one by one that what is drug design synthesis and discovery process so first of all what is drug design it is also called as ligand design or it is also known as rational drug design which is based on knowledge of target receptor active site so we have a knowledge of target or receptor the basis of that active site we design our compounds or drugs or ligands that are going to hit that target it is also known as structure based drug design when we use computer or different uh, website servers or different softwares for the designing of our ligand or drug it is called as computer aided drug design it is also known as pharmacophore or molecular modeling we have different videos on computer aided drug design or pharmacophore and molecular modeling so you can visit these videos for detail drug synthesis is the second step in medicinal here we need the drug actually to perform in lab it is either obtained by organic synthesis or extraction of natural products during this extraction we purify our compound and that compound is used to study for ligand interaction we can collect series of different compounds from different labs or different sources so therefore uh, if we don't need we, we are not going to synthesize we can collect different compounds which are already synthesized from other uh, departments or other labs and we can uh, analyze these compounds as well and libraries are databases of compounds so these are the databases or libraries which are available uh, on internet and we can retrieve that compounds or databases for computer aided drug design or computational studies so these drug bank database for let's suppose our zinc database so from these databases we can retrieve our compounds but these are uh, virtually compounds and we can uh, these are the uh, already available or commercialized drug and we can uh, obtain these drug and then we can analyze them again through computational studies and this is also known as network pharmacology in which we use already uh, discovered drug for other diseases or we analyze for other diseases drug discovery process during drug discovery process after obtaining our compounds we perform in vitro screening which is also known as laboratory screening or laboratory assay analyze these compounds which are active against the or selected high throughput high throughput screening then we use robots or at uh, when we are going to analyze hundreds or thousands of compounds at a time by using robotics uh, we call it high throughput screening it is also performed in the laboratory lead optimization or hit to lead after we obtain our hit compound 
we are going to optimize our compound uh, by designing its analog and different and uh, according to their different properties so we are going to optimize that lead preclinical testing when we have lead compound we perform animal testing or preclinical testing after preclinical testing the phase of clinical development occurs which is a human testing so we have different phases of clinical development or clinical testing clinical phase 1 2 and 3 and after the we have performed clinical testing uh, if we have positive results we can uh, submit our data all that data to FDA which is Food and Drug Administration USA for approval and after the approval of FDA uh, our drug can be commercialized or we can sell it in the market we have different terminologies in uh, medicinal chemistry or drug design and discovery process so first we should know what is the difference between drug and medicine drug is a small organic molecule which is biologically active there are two type of drugs good drugs which is which are also known as medicine good drugs are used for the treatment of diseases and they are called medicine whereas bad drugs are not good for health or poisonous for our health and these are uh, known as the most of these are uh, da damaging central nervous system and uh, like caffeine morphine or opium etc drug targets and drug targets are receptors for drug targets are receptors there are biological macromolecules which are present inside the living organism they are actually the target for different drugs the most part or most of the time these targets are proteins so 70 to 80 percent of our drug targets are proteins enzymes are receptors are ion channels which are all made up of proteins second is the nucleic acid and third one is the lipids so these are the uh, targets for our drugs pharmacology so we should know that what is pharmacology actually it is the study of drug action so in medicinal chemistry we study drug design synthesis and discovery process whereas in pharmacology only we study the action of drug so it is also we can define it like it is the study of pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics so now we are going to discuss that what is pharmacodynamics and pharmacokinetics or what is the difference between both these terminologies pharmacodynamics it is the effect or action of drug on our body it is because of binding of these drugs on the specific targets or receptors that's why the diseases are cured and uh, like we have a headache when we take uh, mefnamic acid it will uh, relieve our pain so it is the action of drug so it is it will be study in pharmacodynamics so in pharmacodynamics we also study the ligand target interaction pharmacokinetics in pharmacokinetics it is the effect or action of body on our drug so it is the effect of our body on drug so how our body will perceive this drug how our body will absorb this drug and metabolize and then excrete out so it is the study of absorption distribution in our body metabolism how it metabolizes this compound excretion after metabolism or after its action it will be excreted out from our body so how it will occur or which path it will take place and then we study the toxicity of that compound on our body so it is also known as admit profile that is absorption distribution metabolism excretion and toxicity or it is sometime it is also called as admitox so we have a video on admitox or how we can uh, check these properties through computer
by computational means we can study uh, these admit profile or these properties of our design compound or drug structure activity relationship most of the time when we study our compound or drugs uh, we need a structure activity relationship and it is important uh, that uh, to uh, to optimize our compound and uh, to enhance the uh, to enhance the action of our drug or potency of our drug we need structure activity relationship so it is the ligand target interaction so in this we study that how our ligand will bind inside the uh, active site of our target so how it will bind or what type of interactions it will be required and uh, what type of functional groups that are present in our compounds that are going to bind inside the active site it can also be studied computationally by molecular docking studies so it is also known as molecular docking studies molecular docking studies are the uh, tool or means for uh, determining the structure activity relationship pharmacophoric group pharmacophoric group is actually the that functional group or that part of the drug or ligand uh, which is going to make interaction with the active site so it is the active part of our compound sometime we need quantitative structure activity relationship studies that how much quantity is required for the study of uh, structure activity relationship or uh, how quantity uh, how quantity is effective or how quantity will affect the activity of that compound inside the organism or in vitro this is lead compound uh, we have used these terminologies that hit and lead so we are going to uh, study that what is hit and what is the lead compound so hit shows the desired type of activity during lab screening so it is our active compound against target or receptor so when we are going to screen our compounds let's suppose hundreds compound or 20 or 30 compounds and uh, out of these only two or three compounds are active so we call it hit compounds and lead lead is obtained after synthesis of analogs of hit compound when we have hit compounds uh, we are going to study that compound that what functional groups are active and then we design on the basis of that functional group different compounds with varying properties so we optimize it that to improve the interaction to improve the potency or to improve the physical chemical properties of that compound so we designed different analogs to um, to produce lead compound so it is to improve the target interaction and physical chemical properties based on structure activity relationship studies so structure activity relationship studies of hit compound uh, and uh, tells us that uh, how, what are the different pharmacophore or what are the different functional groups that are important and that should be present in our lead compound and finally the drug discovery process or discovery cycle so it is the cycle and it uh, it takes a lot of time during uh, all this process from lab to from designing of drug to commercialize or coming into the market it takes 20 to 30 years and sometime more so it is a very uh, prolonged process so what occurs in this process so first we collect our compound so compound collection so here I am going to show you so we are going to start from here it is the compound collection process and then we primary assay our high throughput in vitro screening so when then we analyze our these compounds through in vitro screening or in lab against different targets or selected target and then we go to secondary assay or secondary or counter screening or bioavailability toxicity metabolism or we can say that we are going to analyze admi profile or the uh, after obtaining our hit compound so from here we will get our hit compound and hit compound will be processed further 
and then we get our lead compound. After hit our lead compound, we can analyze structure activity relationship. And this structure activity relationship also uh, inform us that uh, how we can design uh, our drug for that kind of target. So in this way, uh, we uh, get uh, study or we get informed that uh, what kind of compounds or what functional groups are important to hit that kind of targets. So we design our compound. Uh, and then we can again chemically synthesize our compound and after the synthesis of compound we will screen it against that specific target. So when we are going to say that compound collection it may be the natural products, extraction, isolated products or, or some other means. And if we are going to uh, we have a lead compound or optimize then now we will go to structural characterization and then protein ligand complexes and it is also uh, it can also be performed through molecular docking studies or x-ray crystallographic studies when uh, we perform uh, through computer we call it molecular docking studies and uh, when we perform it uh, in the lab uh, we perform it through x-ray crystallographic studies so this is and after this Again, we can design our new drug. If we have these compounds and after the screening uh, inside animals, uh, because toxicity and metabolism is tested in animals, so it is, pre, it, it is also called as preclinical testing. And after this preclinical testing, uh, we can go to clinical testing. So if this compound is, uh, uh, is our lead compound and uh, it fits all the criteria so we will discuss in our next videos that what are the criteria for these compounds to be uh, lead compound or it can be a clinical candidate so if it fits all the criteria and uh, it will be a clinical candidate and then we can go to clinical testing and then finally to the FDA approval and uh, also if uh, we have these uh, ADME profile, we can we have two uh, methods for ADME testing. One is computational mean. We have Swiss ADME tool, and uh, we have a video on that Swiss ADME tool. Uh, you can watch on my YouTube channel. And the second one is the uh, preclinical testing, or in vitro, or in in vivo testing. That is in lab, and uh, we can uh, use some animal models like guinea pig our monkeys, our rabbits. So on these, we can test our compounds for toxicity, our absorption, distribution, metabolism, and excretion. So in this way, our drug discovery process completes. And then finally, we get our drug to be marketed or to be commercialized. So it's all about uh, what is medicinal chemistry introduction that uh, how, what is drug design, discovery, what is drug design, synthesis and discovery process. So in medicinal chemistry, uh, in second lecture, uh, we will discuss what are the sources of uh, different uh, drugs or medicine and then we will move further and uh, how we can classify our drugs and then uh, what are the classification based on their activity and then uh, how we can then we will study how we can design our compounds and then we can uh, test our compounds and then we will proceed further so thanks for watching my video if you like my video please subscribe my channel and share my videos thanks